Yo, 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 Jared James 4 here. Uh, just bringing you some more gameplay and commentary with Warlord. Uh, so, it's a game from a couple days ago. Kind of newer footage. Hey, the hoobla, trapping and shit, you know. Uh, so I kind of learned to like pay attention to their fears the game spawns or the game starts Because like if you if they have really high fear they're probably somewhere outside and If their fear is going low uh, They're inside somewhere uh, So I'm just gonna go check the castle because uh, Their fear is low so uh, and yeah, it's kind of the same. The, you'll see, this is more of a current build. I end up getting lucky. Like, I don't know, this happens... doesn't happen that often where you find the first map piece before the survivors, but man, does it feel good. Anytime that shit happens, you're like, alright, cool. You can just happily trap and set up, and you don't even have to search for survivors. They gotta come to you. Uh, so yeah, you'll just see I trap the shit out of this area and then I'll set a proxy and then you want to try and get your energy back as well after you've set it up that way you can possess when they get there or even if you want to add another portal on top of the proxy uh, that way like you, they hit the proxy and some creatures come out and you also spawn a portal so now it's like these two uh, <clears throat> I mean you could do three even but I think that would be a waste because you wouldn't be able to possess at this point like back in the day you could do three and possess but not now well, here you just see me fucking up royally I don't know I thought Amanda was closer and then I have to like run around and then I'm just like contemplating my life decisions and I'm like you know what I'm gonna just go ahead and drop that waste energy it happens but then I get to possess Amanda and I get to waste all her ammo so it's, it's all good decent trade-off I'd say and then you'll just see me run her into a trap so I use up all her ammo I'll put her on a trap and then deep possess and she gets hit now I go try find more ammo I mean energy haha <laughs> uh, and you'll kinda see me leveling things up the way I would do now sometimes I'll go one into trap but a lot of times now after doing some sweaty customs I just go straight into the basic elite boss and possession <laughs> You're gonna want your basics maxed so that way you're getting your basics. They'll get an extra unit, so I think two instead or three instead of two come out of the portal. And they also come out with a hand axe, which is very useful. And you just see me here spawn possessing. I'll try and use my puke a little bit more. I don't, I don't think it really happens there. Uh. Then another thing you'll see me doing is just after I possess something I'll dodge quite often. I don't know how much I do it in this game, but if you're ever playing against a really good hunter, it can be useful just to dodge after you've possessed. Although, like, they're gonna pick up on it after a while, so you almost have to, like, sometimes dodge after you possess and sometimes not. Uh, because it, once they pick up on it, they'll just wait till you they see you dodge and then beam you in the head after the dodge so you kinda like pause for a second after the dodge uh -oh. ah but yeah you just see me searching a bunch here and then I notice my dark ones are over here I'm like oh hi dark ones game never ends up making it that far but you know it's a good eye uh, if you do see your dark ones it's good to just make note of where they are 
That way, maybe even, like, on the second objective, you could kind of, like, ditch. If you feel like they're just going to get it, maybe ditch early. Go try and put your proxy at the dark ones. So that way you can have an army for when they get there. Uh, yeah. More gameplay. Hibbity hoop. So I've been trying to post videos, but I've been kind of lazy and been working a lot. So, you know, you get what you get. I'll try to post more videos. Maybe I'll do a Warlord build video. Uh, I know my buddy Sparring Pickle already did one. and Essentially, you're just going to want to use something very similar to that build, like he said. Uh, the build I'm using is very similar. Um, I tried like a lot of different builds, did a bunch of private games and tried different builds out and all the private games to see kind of what is the best. And in the end, basically the stuff that he was using in his build is what is the best. <laughs> then you can make an argument on about like three or four of the skill points, uh, maybe more, and there's obviously some other ways you could go with the build um but yeah generally you're gonna want to have something quite similar to what he had here uh I just drop her in my arena. Die, car, die. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get that car later, okay? I'm, a, I'm about to do my best Alucard impression for you guys. I know I bitch a lot about flipping cars, but you know, every now and then it actually is beneficial to flip cars, just. It's just when you do it for the first five to ten minutes of every match. Like, imagine if I... Well, I guess I couldn't really do it in this match. Because it's Castle Kandor. I kind of fuck up somehow here, I think. I think so. I'm pretty sure I do. Maybe I just run out of energy. Yeah, I get puked on. <coughs> yeah, I just kind of really wanted to down that Henry there and then Amanda gets back up. But I don't even think it was that big of a deal to be honest with you. Pap how? No, I need more energy. Don't worry, my best Alucard impression is coming up. I'm about to wow you guys. You're gonna be like, wow, is this Alucard playing the game? Car flipping OP, man. Uh, so here it is. I'm ready to flip some cars, man. I'm ready to flip cars to win. Because, you know, if I didn't flip these, these two cars right here, I'd definitely lose this game, you know what I mean? Here I have some struggles. My internal conflict, like Alucard, every time he struggles to flip a car for a minute, loses all his energy, and then <laughs> goes, collects more energy, and then starts trying to flip the car again. Ah, uh, it didn't take me that long, though. I mean, Alucard would flip that Clifford, too, because, you know, can't flip enough cars. Uh, I mean, at this point in the game, like, what I was thinking was, like, man, should I even have wasted time flipping those cars, or should I just have immediately come in here and trapped and killed them? Uh, it's like, the, you'll see, I flip those two cars, and it doesn't change the outcome of the game at all. I don't know. 
And you know, like the one of the most OP teams in the game, they don't even care about cars. Like there's they, they they don't care about cars to the point where they just walk everywhere now. They're so OP. They just like we don't even need cars. We'll just even if they have to walk a thousand yards, man, they will just walk across the map, and murder everything. Yeah, so. It's like, once you play against a team like that, you'll realize that all this time you spent flipping cards is a waste of time. Especially when the teams that want to block the book are just going to block it anyways. Uh, and then, I mean, now that'll be somewhat fixed, but we'll see how fixed it is. Uh, I mean, it sounds like you're probably still going to be block the book at the initial stage. And then the cars will just disappear. Pablo's like, oh no, the cars are flipped. And then this is just funny. Uh, yeah, look at that. Survivor's helping me out. I had to, like, do a double take, because I was like, really? I flipped two cars, and then they flipped the last car for me? Like, nice. Um... And I'm at like a pretty high threat level for first objective here. I kind of waste my energy a little bit, though. Preferably, you want to get that proxy that I set out a little sooner. Um, so that way you can. I think this is where I fuck my energy up. Yeah, there it is. But yeah, you want to try and get that proxy a little sooner, just so that rather than setting the proxy and then having just the one portal left after, you want to like set the proxy soon enough before that your portal will come back and you'll have two portals. That way, sometimes you could literally drop both portals with that proxy and then you got three portals coming out, which is a lot of uh, creatures. Uh, and then, then this team doesn't really I think they're already out of resources like they're all almost dead Pablo wasn't really doing it for them I don't know if it was a team team or uh, just solo cures uh, they, they played If it was solo cures, at least they stayed more or less as a foreman. Uh, I don't think that Amanda really ever had a good gun, though. I think she was just stuck with a common pistol. Yeah, stuck on them titties, Amanda. I think she just gives up here. She's like, kill me. But yeah, as you can see, I mean, the car flipping really didn't change anything, so, like, it's another game where I don't even know if it was necessary to do that. But, well, GG's.